I've made it to the airport! Okay, so for this video I'm going to be flying to Australia and for this video you're going to see Ryanair and my first day but I am frozen, I'm literally shivering so much I got a taxi to Heathrow Airport which is really nice of my grandma and I didn't really vlog anything this morning because I just felt so sick because I think I'm just really really nervous basically but yeah I'm feeling way more excited now I'm just shivering since it's so cold I literally went through the whole airport in 20 minutes which is really good and I just bought some snacks, I got Ardina, Maltesers and Pringles and I'm still not going to eat anything so I'm still really really nervous but I'm very happy that I am actually here and really early I look so big in this jumper look <laughs> So given a blanket and a cushion. So I have actually arrived at my hotel now and as you can see I've just kind of showered and gotten my PJs as it has been a long, long two days of travelling. But I'm literally only here for one night which is why I'm not really going to give you like a quick show of the hotel room and it's actually a mess because now that my big rucksack I don't need all my bits for on the plane I'm just trying to reorganise and repack things from my rucksack into my big rucksack because my rucksack on the plane is my everyday rucksack as well. So that's made it really messy now <laughs> that I've kind of got everything sorted. But I'm just gonna have a chill night tonight and then tomorrow I will vlog in this one as well because I'm doing a day trip by myself with um it's like one you book on what's it called? Oh, get your guide or something. So I booked on that and because I've got a day to myself before my tour starts in the evening, so I've put myself onto that and then tomorrow night the tour starts. But I will say it is really weird having a hotel room by myself, so I've never done that before. So it's really weird and strange. I'm kinda like missing home but i think it's just because it's the first time i've ever traveled somewhere by myself and also the first time i stayed in a hotel room by myself so it's very very strange <laughs> um oh yeah i don't really have breakfast for tomorrow because i just couldn't be bothered going to the shop to buy food so my breakfast for the morning is literally pringles and maltesers unless they do breakfast at the hotel so that's gonna be yum i can't wait to have a proper meal but anyway yeah so the flight was Actually, right, the food was actually really good. I didn't like the last meal because it was stir fry and I don't like stir fry. But the other two meals were good. I would say if you're a veggie, make sure you let the flight know beforehand because some people who didn't let the flight know before they had other veggie food. What I had and mine was way nicer. So I was very chuffed about that. But anyway, I'm now going to watch some TV and then literally just go to bed because I'm really tired. And then tomorrow I will have my first day in Australia. So today is officially day one in Australia, which is so cool. So today my group start group tour starts tonight. We're meeting for like an hour in the evening and maybe for food. But until then I've got the day to myself. So I've booked myself onto a day trip to it's called Karangada, something like that. And you have a scenic railway right there. It's like along the mountains and stuff. And then like a little market and food and stalls on the top of a mountain or hill, I'm not really sure what you call it. And then you get a cable car ride on all the way down. So I thought that'd be really fun. And, but before I go there, so it starts at half eight and it's currently, well, half six, so I'll go a bit early. I'm gonna go see if I can have breakfast here because I'm really, really hungry. My stomach is hurting because I'm so hungry. So I'm really hoping they'll let me eat at the hotel. But I also then gonna check out this hotel, walk to the next one, check my bag in there, and then I get picked up somewhere else. I need to walk there as well. So yeah, I really need to get going. But yeah, it's been, 
It's like day one. How exciting. and I have a window seat. I am very, very happy about that. somewhere for a couple minutes and then we're getting back on but it's so pretty go and get over how beautiful that waterfall is and that we're basically in a jungle so we're working our way to Koran Dan Dan now and then that the train is such old school vibes <laughs> this is what we stopped off Baron Falls station A koala experience and I'm gonna hold a koala. This is what I'm doing. I'm excited I've paid to hold a koala so <laughs> was literally the best thing and you can see how excited I am by the first picture because I am just there like grinning away I'm not even looking at the camera I'm just like ah <laughs> it's like a genuine genuine happy smile and koalas are way softer than I thought so I love that Uh, pit stop for food. I'm literally having chips and I'm not that hungry. But I know I don't eat now and be starving later, so I'm gonna try to. And it's so nice here. Oh, I wonder the frog restaurant. How is that? <laughs> so Quran is actually very, very pretty and. It's been really fun, but I'm kind of now like done. I'm just so tired. It's my first full day in Australia, as you can tell from this video, and I'm just very tired now. So, loving that. But I mean, I've got half an hour still, so I need to get the cable car ride back down. I've got the train, I'm gonna get the cable car back down, which is so cool. So, I've got about half an hour, so I'm just walking there now, which is only five minutes away, and I find some loos. And then apparently, you can walk along the river, so I might go and try and see if I can do that, as long as I don't get lost. <laughs> as I'm like in the middle of a walkway. Um, but yeah, no, it's been great fun. I got to hold a koala. Holding a koala and feeding a kangaroo and seeing one is what I wanted to do the most. I've done them both on the first day, so I am very happy about that. So yeah, good day so far. Trying this so well. I've got a, ha a hail. I've got a whole cable car to myself. I was waiting because I was just really tired and I was just waiting to see if there would be the queue go down. And there was zero queue and they said I put one to, my put one to myself. So yeah, look whole cable car ride to myself so let's do this we are picking up speed it's cool and as fun as this is it's really bumpy and it's making me a bit nervous
This is literally insane. I've never done anything quite like this before and I'm just in awe at the beauty and it's amazing. Like look over there, look at all those mountains. It's beautiful. I mean, I'm quite terrified every time it goes over one of these because it does like, da -da 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 -da, like oh. <laughs> but this is stunning, honestly. This was so worth it and I just can't believe I'm literally flying above, well not flying, but I'm basically above the whole forest, jungle, mountain, whatever you want to call it, and it is just beautiful. To meet the rest of my tour group, I've already met a few ladies and they were lovely, so I hope the rest are good.